What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to measure and install new vertical blinds. Nice and simple. Most importantly, how you're going to save money by doing it yourself. Let's get straight into it guys. Let's do this. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to measure up for new vertical blinds on a window opening that we've got here. And the reason why I'm showing you this is so many people don't know that you can actually do this yourself. Not just the installation, you can measure up yourself, you can order it yourself whether it's on online or via a manufacturing company and you're going to save yourself a lot of money. Now to give you guys a quick example, let's just assume this uh, window here would cost $200 uh, to buy a vertical blind, we're just assuming here, could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more, um, but the installation cost is where you're gonna get stung. Now, per window, you're looking at probably $20 to $50 for installation cost. Um, they'll also most likely come out and measure the window for you. Um, so if you've got about 20 windows in your house, 20 times 20 is $400. So you're gonna be saving $400 by simply installing it yourself, and that's if they're charging you $20. If they're charging you 50, well there's $1,000 simply on installation costs. So I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to measure up yourself, install it yourself, it literally takes seconds, minimal tools, um, the only thing we're going to need here is just a tape measure and a drill. Now, if you haven't got a drill, you can also use a screwdriver. It's not a big issue. It just takes you a little bit longer. Um, so you might even use that money that you've just saved to get out there and buy yourself a drill. Now, the way we do this is we're going to simply measure it. You take your measurements and then you get in contact with manufacturing companies. So not an installation company, somebody who simply manufactures blinds. They usually install as well. But if you tell them that I just want supply only, I'll come out and I'll pick up the blinds after I give you the measurements. That's going to be the easiest way to get around this. And you can not only do that, but you can take all your measurements and email it to a whole variety of um, different manufacturing companies across the country. And a lot of them will actually deliver it for free um, through Australia post or whichever country that you're using they'll deliver it for free all you have to do is simply measure and install so let's get started on our measurements so what we need to do is measure the width and the drop of our blinds now the way we work this out is by number one figuring out um, the size of our reveal so this section here of the timber is our reveal because we've got two main sizes for vertical blinds you've got either 127 millimeters or you've got uh, an 89 millimeter blind slat. So generally speaking, the blind or the center of the blind is gonna be on the edge here of the reveal. So as long as you've got at least half the distance back from the edge of our timber reveal here, all the way back with perfect clearance. So we don't want our handle getting in the way. If you're installing this on a sliding door, once again, make sure that your door isn't getting in the way or the door handle, and that's pretty much all you need to work out. So are you getting a 127 millimeter slant or are you getting the 89s? Um, so in this case here, we're gonna be measuring up for a 127 millimeter slant, okay? So what we need to do now is simply measure the opening. Now you don't wanna measure the base of the window because it might be a little bit out of square. So you simply wanna measure the top. Push it up hard up against one side. You can do this on your own or you can get somebody to give you a hand. The wider the opening, the more difficult it becomes. So you might wanna get somebody to give you a hand. Simply measure all the way across and we've got here exactly 1800. So one meter uh, and 800 millimeters, 1.8 meters. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we don't buy um, or put down the measurement um, as 1.8. You can take off a little bit from that distance. You can take off five millimeters, give you enough clearance on either side, and that's gonna be perfect. So now we're gonna measure our drop. Okay, so you measure from the base of the window. Hold it hard up against the base if you like. Bring it all the way to the top of the reveal, which we've got here, 1195, okay? And you can either lift it up just a little bit to give you a little bit of clearance. That one there will be 1180. So now we know we've got 1.75, which is going to be our opening, and 1180, which is going to be our drop. That is called the finish size. So if you tell the blind manufacturer, I want it in a finish size um, for those measurements, they're going to give you exactly that cutout for this window. You can also measure up the exact opening of the window and the exact drop, so the full clearance that you've got inside, and let them know that this is an opening size, and they'll do the measurements or take away the um, clearance themselves. So it's pretty simple. Now that we've got our measurements, it's very, very simple to do. What we're going to do now is get in contact with the manufacturing companies, which has a whole range of different ones, easy as to shop around, simply email them and send them through the measurements, copy paste, you've already got the measurements written down, hopefully 
actually um, send them all through and they'll be able to come back with the, uh, with the price. Now something else that you need to also consider is whether or not you're having a um, recessed um, fit for your blinds or if they're going to be sitting on the face. The only time I really install blinds on the face is when I don't have enough clearance under the reveal here and it's going to be in the way. So that's probably the only time um, that I won't be able to put it on the um, reveal and recess it and I'll have to put it on the face. It's not as common but sometimes you do have to do that so just be aware that your brackets are either going to sit underneath which is recessed um, under the reveal or it's going to be a face mount you'll get some L brackets and you can drill it into the architrave or you can put new plugs and put them into the wall itself. So once your new blinds have come in this is what they look like this one here is our track for our vertical blinds so you'll notice it stacks all to one side when you pull the control or the wand here we'll get into that in a second these are the brackets here they simply clip onto the back so if you have a look on the back there's a little groove on either side simply clicks on one side put a little bit of pressure down and that's going to click into place so these are our brackets here we've got three of them to install we've got some screws um, that I've picked up so these ones here are 25 millimeter 8 gauge screws try not to go something too deep we've got our drill bit in this case we're using a 3 millimeter drill bit so just make sure that it's not um, wider than the shank of your actual screw so you can see that it's almost half and we've got our drill bit and drill now that we've got that we're going to start installing our brackets which literally takes seconds so now we can take our bracket we're going to keep the tab side so you'll notice here it's just got a little lip and here it's got a tab that tab is to release the blind so this is going to be facing the back you take your little tab mark it up roughly in the location and what I like to do is just create a reference point so if you have a look there's a couple little bends here in the bracket okay I always try and line it up with this second bend right here so you can see there it's got one bend on this side another bend over here line that up with the face of the reveal we drill a hole for the center mark that way you can always move your bracket back and forward just to get it perfect so hold that one there in place take your drill bit and pre-drill it Okay, now we've got that one there marked up what you can do is just transfer those measurements now if you notice my finger hasn't moved off the side there and the reason for that is this allows me to put it back on the reveal um, and have it exactly in the same position as the other side now it's not always square the reveal anyway so it might not make a difference but it's going to give you the pretty much the closest measurement possible always drill it in the center just because if you're a little bit out you can always adjust it Lucky last one on this side. Now this particular one here, we're putting three brackets on it because it spans out at 1.8 meters. Okay, now we've got everything there pre-drilled, ready to go. We're gonna drill in or screw in our brackets. So take your bracket, remember the tab goes to the back. You can pop your screw in first, that way it'll help you uh, line everything up. Put it straight into that hole, drill it in a little bit. Stop it from rotating, position it exactly where you want it, and then drill it in. It's that simple, move on to the next one. So now we're ready to install the track, remembering our side that it stacks on. Okay, so when you pull the wand all the way, all the vertical blind slats are gonna stack on one side. We want to keep that side on the other side of the window so you can see here this section here is our window and if we slide that one there open that's going to open up this way so if we had our stack on this side here it's going to flap in the wind and cause you damage to your vertical points so we'll close that one there up make sure that our stack is on the left hand side and now we simply hook it in and then we're going to give it a little push and click that one there in now because we've got that five millimeter clearance just simply center it. We'll use that middle bracket first and click that one in place. So that one there is clicked in. We can move on to our left side, click it, do the same thing on the other side. Now that we've got that, we can open up our one. We turn the position of our slats so that we can now actually hang our slats nice and easy. And we're almost done, guys. So we can now unroll all our slats. And if you have a look on top, there's just simply a little eyelet right here, a little hole in the top, and we're going to hook that onto the individual clips. 
And once that's done, you've got your brand new vertical blinds installed, nicely done, so simple guys. This is pretty much the process you're gonna do for every single window, determining what size the opening is. Is it reveal or face fit? Is it a 127 or is it gonna be your 89 millimeter slat? Pretty simple, straightforward guys. Hopefully this video is gonna help a lot of people out there in determining what blinds they need. This is the process for vertical blinds. It's very, very simple to do all your other Venetian blinds, roller blinds. Um, so if you guys wanna see videos on that, let me know in the comment section below. But hopefully this is gonna save you guys hundreds um, of dollars throughout your process of replacing your blinds or installing new ones. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. As always guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.